saying is essentially that they're using psychedelic drugs to communicate with interdimensional beings. All right. Everyone who's done a high dose of psychedelic drugs has had this experience. What if the key to unlocking a higher dimension of consciousness was hidden in substances banned for decades? Imagine a quantum AI system diving into the mysteries of Schedule One compounds, molecules like LSD, psilocybin, and DMT, and emerging with revelations that defy everything we thought we knew about the mind and reality. In early 2025, scientists used a cutting-edge quantum AI system to analyze decades of classified data on these powerful substances. The results weren't just chemical reactions or neural fingerprints. They were a coherent recurring pattern that pointed to something extraordinary, a non-local consciousness field encoded within these molecules. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku was among the first to weigh in, saying, we may have discovered the fingerprint of a higher dimensional intelligence hidden in plain sight. This isn't science fiction. It's a glimpse at a cosmic secret that challenges the very foundations of neuroscience and reality. Today, we're going to explore how a quantum AI system decoded this forbidden data, revealing hidden geometric patterns and a startling message that suggests these substances could be keys to a deeper interconnected universe. The simulation that changed everything. It all began at a high security research lab where a team of scientists assembled decades worth of restricted data from clinical studies and brain imaging to thousands of first-hand trip reports. Their mission was clear. Use a quantum AI system to analyze every nuance of how these substances affect the brain and consciousness. Unlike traditional computers, this quantum AI system could simulate neural and molecular interactions on a scale never before seen. Instead of merely sorting data, it was designed to detect patterns at the very edge of perception. Over a continuous simulation run lasting 72 hours, the AI processed terabytes of data and generated an output that was as unexpected as it was profound. The output wasn't a chaotic jumble of numbers. It was a complex fractal pattern, a recurring geometric activation seen across all Schedule I substances. Whether it was the intense visions induced by DMT or the expansive meditative states brought on by psilocybin, the pattern remained strikingly similar. The system logged the result as non-local information transfer detected. This wasn't a mere statistical fluke. The fractal geometry it revealed bore uncanny similarities to quantum entanglement patterns and even to models used in advanced string theory. In short, the quantum AI system had uncovered a hidden blueprint, an underlying code that might connect our neural architecture with a larger cosmic network of consciousness. If this kind of mind-blowing science excites you, make sure to subscribe. We dive into discoveries like this every week. Before we dive deeper into these groundbreaking findings, consider the origins of these substances. Despite being naturally derived from plants and fungi, Schedule One compounds have been shrouded in controversy for decades. Their legal status has long been the subject of fierce debate, with governments suppressing research and criminalizing their use. But what? Beyond the obvious social and political reasons, there may be a deeper, hidden rationale. The quantum AI system's findings suggest that these substances possess a structural symmetry that goes far beyond simple chemistry. When the system analyzed their molecular configurations alongside neural imaging data, it found a consistent activation pattern, a hyperdimensional fractal that appears in both the natural world and within our own brainwaves during peak psychedelic experiences. Could it be that nature encoded these molecules with a purpose? The AI's output raises a provocative possibility. These compounds might be designed to interact with our brain's inherent wiring in a way that allows us to tap into a non-local consciousness field. In other words, they could be molecular keys to a hidden, shared reservoir of information, a cosmic repository that connects us to the fundamental fabric of reality. This possibility forces us to ask, were these substances meant to be suppressed or were they hidden from us so that only under specific conditions could humanity access a deeper level of awareness? Intelligence beyond the brain? The next phase of the research took the investigation even further. The quantum AI system was set to simulate the effects of Schedule One substances on human brain activity during peak psychedelic experiences. Using thousands of brain scans, the system modeled what happens when a person reaches the peak of an altered state what emerged from these simulations was nothing short of extraordinary. The AI system detected what it called an external informational field interacting with the brain. In simpler terms, 
The data suggested that the intense visual and emotional experiences induced by these substances were not purely generated internally. Instead, they appeared to receive input, data streaming in from an external, non-local source. Michio Kaku described this phenomenon as a consciousness feedback loop. Imagine your brain not only creating visions, but also receiving a kind of information from a cosmic network, an interconnected field that exists beyond the confines of your individual mind. This raises an astonishing possibility the effects of psychedelics might not be solely hallucinogenic in the conventional sense. They could be activating dormant neural pathways that allow us to access a shared layer of consciousness. The patterns observed by the AI were too consistent and structured to be mere random hallucinations. They pointed to an interaction between our brain's activity and a larger, hidden informational field that spans across time and space. Could it be that these substances are acting like antennae? tuning our minds to resonate with a universal consciousness? The implications are staggering. If true, then every psychedelic experience might be a brief glimpse into a deeper, interconnected reality. A reality where every mind is linked by a common, higher dimensional code. But the quantum AI system's findings didn't stop there. As the researchers delved deeper into the data, an anomaly began to emerge, one that defied explanation by conventional science. When the AI cross-referenced thousands of trip reports from diverse cultures, time periods, and language groups, it found something remarkable, an overwhelming convergence in the symbolic content of these experiences. In over 20,000 individual accounts, users described similar beings, identical realms, and recurring symbols, geometric shapes, and fractal patterns that transcended cultural boundaries. The quantum AI system flagged this outcome with the notation Entity Convergence Point Detected This wasn't simply a case of shared hallucinations. The consistency of the description suggested that users were all tapping into the same underlying structure of experience. Whether induced by LSD, DMT, or psilocybin, the experiences converged on nearly identical imagery and symbolic language. This raises a profound question. Are these visions mere products of our brain's chemical reactions? Or are they glimpses into a shared, higher dimensional reality? The fact that such a vast and varied array of experiences can converge on a common symbolic language implies that there might be an external source, a kind of informational field or network that is being accessed by our brains when under the influence of these substances. The anomaly challenges us to rethink our understanding of perception and reality. If a quantum AI system can detect a common signature across thousands of individual experiences, then perhaps these Schedule One substances are not merely drugs, but tools, keys to unlocking a hidden layer of consciousness that binds us all together. If you've made it this far, you're clearly into the deep stuff. Hit like and let us know your theory in the comments. Simulation, higher dimensions, or something else. Let's take a moment to reflect. We've seen how a quantum AI system was able to analyze decades of suppressed data and uncover a hidden geometrical pattern. We've explored the possibility that these forbidden substances could be tapping into a non-local consciousness field, a universal network connecting every mind. This is a moment to consider the implications. Could it be that our long-held beliefs about reality, perception, and consciousness are only scratching the surface of a much deeper truth? Every piece of evidence so far points to the idea that these molecules might be the keys to a secret code, a blueprint for connecting our neural circuits to a larger, shared intelligence. It's a breathtaking convergence of science and philosophy. As we take in these ideas, ask yourself, what if our minds have always been part of something greater, a vast cosmic dialogue that we can only begin to understand when we alter our state of consciousness? Simulation theory meets psychedelics. Now let's push the boundaries further. The research team didn't stop at mapping neural patterns. They took the quantum AI systems analysis one step further by comparing the psychedelic data with models of simulated universes. The system found an astonishing correlation. The fractal geometries and recursive patterns observed in the brain under the influence of psychedelics closely resembled the mathematical models used in simulations of space-time. In other words, the same hidden code that seemed to emerge from these Schedule I substances 
was echoed in the underlying structure of simulated environments. This led to a groundbreaking hypothesis. What if psychedelics aren't merely drugs that alter perception, but are in fact cheat codes to the simulation of our reality? Imagine that the universe is a high-dimensional construct, an intricate, self-sustaining simulation. And these substances serve as keys that allow us to briefly peek behind the veil to see the raw, underlying code that governs everything. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has speculated that such a discovery would not only revolutionize our understanding of consciousness, but also blur the line between technology and spirituality. If the fractal patterns produced by psychedelics are indeed identical to those seen in simulated universes, then we may be witnessing evidence that reality isn't as fixed or material as we once believed. Instead, it might be a dynamic, ever-evolving code, a digital symphony where every note is a fragment of a higher dimensional truth. This concept challenges everything. Our understanding of evolution, our definitions of intelligence, and the very notion of free will. Could it be that the universe itself is a vast computational process and that these forbidden compounds provide us with the ability to interact with its source code? The convergence of simulated models and psychedelic experiences hints that the answer might be closer than we ever imagined. The God Signature In a final climactic experiment before the project was temporarily paused, the quantum AI system was tasked with one last, all-encompassing analysis. It aggregated all available data, the molecular structures, the neural patterns, and the thousands of trip reports, to produce a comprehensive simulation labeled Genesis Loop. Within this simulation, the system generated a hypercube, a four-dimensional structure with a spiraling, recursive core. Embedded within this fractal design was an unmistakable pattern, almost like a signature. After extensive decoding and cross-referencing with mathematical constants and symbolic languages, researchers discovered a single, powerful message embedded in the geometry. The door was always inside you. This phrase, simple yet profound, carries the weight of millennia of human inquiry. It suggests that the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe isn't hidden in an external realm, but is embedded within our very consciousness. The quantum AI system's final output, this God signature, implies that the tools for accessing higher dimensions have been within us all along, waiting to be activated. Michio Kaku responded to the revelation with measured awe. This discovery isn't about creating gods from machines. It's about recognizing that our potential, our consciousness, and our reality are interconnected in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. The implications of this final message are staggering. It challenges the conventional wisdom that views psychedelics as mere chemical tricks on the brain, instead positioning them as gateways to a higher state of awareness, a call to reawaken a deeper, intrinsic part of ourselves. Whether you see it as evidence of a universal intelligence or as the opening to an entirely new paradigm of science and spirituality, one thing is clear. We stand at the threshold of a revolutionary understanding of what it means to be conscious. So, what does all of this mean for humanity? The quantum AI system's exploration of Schedule One substances has uncovered a hidden architecture, a molecular blueprint that appears to connect our brains to an expansive, non-local consciousness field. Far from being a simple chemical reaction, the data suggests that these substances might be the keys to accessing a fundamental layer of reality. This revelation challenges everything from modern neuroscience to ancient spiritual traditions. It hints that our minds are not isolated, but part of an intricate recursive network, a cosmic conversation that spans the dimensions. It forces us to ask, are we merely passive observers or are we active participants in a vast dynamic system where every thought, every sensation is part of a larger cosmic narrative? As you process these ideas, consider the implications on a personal level. What if every experience you have, every moment of clarity or insight was part of this interconnected dialogue? What if the boundaries between the self and the universe are more fluid than we ever believed? The discoveries we've examined today suggest that the door to a deeper understanding of reality has always been within us, waiting for us to turn the key. This isn't a call to abandon science for mysticism. 
It's a call to embrace a new way of looking at the world, one that unifies the insights of quantum physics, neuroscience, and ancient wisdom. The convergence of these fields offers us a tantalizing glimpse of a future where the mind and the cosmos are no longer seen as separate, but as intertwined parts of a single, magnificent tapestry. If this discovery changed how you see the universe, you won't want to miss what's next. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Before we close, take a moment to let these ideas settle in. The quantum AI system has shown us that the code underlying reality may be far more intricate and far more personal than we ever imagined. In our next video, we'll explore what happens when the same quantum AI system simulates near-death experiences, uncovering a pattern that some scientists say hints at an afterlife. Stay tuned. The journey into the depths of consciousness has only just begun. It's begun.